Hey Aries, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Whoa, came flying out of the deck. Commitment and kindred partnership. Woo. All right, we just started, Aries. Geesh. Okay, well, give me one more for Aries, please, or anyone else who's guided to see the Aries reading. So my readings are for anyone who's really guided to see them for whatever reason they're here. So, whoa, that's way too many. Can we just get one more card here for Aries? One more. I will only take one or two cards at a time. Occasionally, I'll take three. So if bunches pop out any time during this reading, don't be upset that I'm putting them back. I feel like the clumps are just stuck together and I don't want to give you false information. It has to be just a couple cards at a time so the reading doesn't get muddled. All right, give me one more. And that's just the way I read with my guides, okay? One more, please. Commitment, kindred partnership, and wow. How... Oh, shut the front door. What a great energy. All right, Aries, I don't know if you are the loving man or you're dealing with the loving man. Woohoo. All right, so we've got commitment. Uh, kip, kipmit. We got kip, kismet. Yeah, it's very kismet. We've got, I can't see we've got commitment and kindred partnership and i wanted to smush them together uh the loving man how sweet okay so something's going on here really this is somebody really cool it's you or somebody who's coming in uh, for you or has something to do with you or is already a part of your life the honoring path and the increase cycle. Wow, how this energy is beautiful. You guys have to understand, this is the quantum tarot, I mean, oracle. And, you know, they're not all like this. I mean, present power, status quo, true love, happy success, courage. I mean, conflict, uh, new beginnings, creative endeavor, you know, teacher there's lots of different energy in this and some of them are you know quite difficult where we have like you know a consciousness of lack and you know we have uh there's the loving woman but you know there's different energies in this deck and you've got three of them that talk of commitment kindred partnership and loving man and then you talk about this path someone's on that is an increase cycle and uh the intentions of honor so i feel well, this is just so nice uh it's just a very positive energy that comes off this reading let's find out aries beautiful all right we're using the chakra wisdom <coughs> excuse me tarot and we're going to be using the gilded royale tarot but i need to take a quick sip guys one quick sip excuse me Okay, apologies. Let's do this. All right. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know about this reading? Commitment, kindred partnership, the loving man, the honoring path, and increase. Beautiful. So the coolest thing about this, well, it's all cool, but the increase cycle that you're going into is really, really awesome. Um, you could be going into this increased cycle with this person or while you're on the honoring path in this beautiful increased cycle. Uh, well, the intentions, your intentions are of honor, right? Whether And it's their intentions are of honor. This to me feels like you're in such a high vibration that the person you're calling in is of high vibration too. And I don't care which one you are in this, like whether you are the loving man or whether it's the loving man coming at you. Either way, it's like I'm on this high intention honor path, which is a very positive increased cycle here. And I'm drawing in someone who is kindred to me, whose energy matches mine. Or you're going into this cycle together because you're both on the same path, right? Beautiful. All right, let's do this. And this doesn't have to be about love. You know, this could be about anything, but it does say the loving man, you know, and commitment and kindred partnership. But this also could be in another area, a commitment and a partner. You know, um, I love my best friend and he was a man, you know? So, I mean, you got to think of it this way. Um, you can be in this beautiful, loving energy with a kindred partnership, even as a platonic best friend, right? So, but let's find out because this does kind of feel like love. All right, let's find out. Aries reading. What do we need to know? Aries reading. Five of cups, two of coins, 
I love the two of coins in this deck. It is my favorite card in this deck. All right, it's one of my favorite cards of all my tarot decks, actually. I'll show you in a minute. Um, what else do we need to know here? What else? Okay, six of wands reversed. I'd rather see that in the upright, but you know, it could change. Well, it's obviously going to change because you're going into this beautiful increased cycle here. Tell me more about this. Or this man is one of you is you it, that could be you okay the uh, knight of cups what else okay queen of pentacles that is an increased cycle queen of pentacles holds her pentacle all right let's talk about this what else do we need to know? Aries reading for anyone who's guided to see it, whenever they're guided to see it. How many? Nope, it's too many. Just one or two, one or two. What do we need to know? There we go. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody's coming in for some kind of commitment here. Um, it's really nice. It truly is. Uh, because it really is the thing that I like about it is someone sitting here and they are, they're totally bummed, totally bummed. Uh, they feel like nothing's happening here. I'm, I'm on my own nine of pentacles. I'm completely single. No, uh, nothing exciting has happened. Ace of wands reverse princess of coins reverse. No opportunities. Same thing with the princess of cups reversed. I feel like there's opportunities and new beginnings are just like, blah right? I feel like it's imbalanced. I feel really disappointed. I feel even more disappointed. Four and five of cups as we come into this reading. So as we come into this reading, I do feel that one of these people, now remember, somebody's really on this high vibration path or they're about to get on it. Um, this, somebody here feels down in the dumps and this might be the thing that triggers them to get on the right path. I don't know, but what I really see is it's almost as if if somebody hasn't either hasn't put the offer out there or the offer hasn't been accepted. That's what this feels like. Okay. The new beginning hasn't happened. And look at how the universe is like, but look at this cup, you know, that maybe every offer that comes in is just like, no, no. Mm. And then the universe is like, look, wake up because look at this cup and we're trying to give it to you but you're in now it might be you or it might be the other person but you're in this kind of a stump or you're like like the slump kind of energy where you're like no everything else has been blah and i've said no to everything and everybody but now the universe is trying to hand you something but you haven't noticed it yet but I will say they're going to put it in your face in a minute, okay? The Knight of Cups is going to come riding in, cup in hand, and they're going to want this actual commitment. And this is the one. Okay, keep this in mind. So if you've had to be like, yuck, no thank you. Look at all the takers trying to take from her. And she's like, no, 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 and no. No, no, and no. I'd rather be single. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and be single and just do my thing until the universe hands me the right freaking cup. All right. And this is seriously what this feels like. So, you know, you've made it clear to the universe. I'm on an honoring path, right? I'm in a high vibration. My next cycle is going to be one of total increase. The last thing on God's earth I need is all these takers clawing at me. No, thank you. Are all these insincere people, people who are just immature, all these people who just want to have sex. No, 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 no. No and no and no. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, so then all of a sudden she opens the door and there it is. The ship is right outside the door. So she's manifested her actual real ship to come in. The real golden cup, the one that means something, right? It shows up and now she has to figure out whether to go get on it. Like, oh my gosh, like I really, you know, I've been so busy doing this and so busy going, no, 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 that I didn't realize that while I was saying no to all the F boys and F girls and, you know, takers and people that really mean nothing to me, um, that I, w I would mean nothing to, um, while I've been busy doing that, 
that really showed the universe about the path that I was on an honoring path and they brought in this person for me now what okay so this is really what I see I see where you've been so disappointed here not feeling like anything's really working out feeling like no 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 I'm so disappointed about the quality of humans that keeps handed getting handed to me and then all of a sudden the universe is like oh you're on an honoring path oh your next cycle is going to be really high vibration because you're in a high vibration oh we need to send you this person that's really what i see happening in this reading and here you are aries looking like the queen of coins because why you're on the honoring path and you're in a high vibration of increase so this is what's happening in your life everything that once was disappointing and daunting turns around and it all happens because you've called it in in a different vibration than you would have in the past and here it comes. I mean, this person's coming in with the cup in hand, with the commitment and with the high vibration. And this person's probably on the same path you're on. Honoring path in a high vibration, in an increased cycle. Really nice. Um, I almost don't want to touch this reading. It's just flowing so quickly through to me the way it is. But of course, you are going to get your cards clarified like everyone else. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know here for Aries? And if this is not about love, but I think it is, um, if it's about something else like business or another opportunity, this person's going to be amazing. You are going to be so happy that this person walked into your life and just brightened it in every every single way. All right, it's so nice. It really is. And it doesn't, I don't care which one's the masculine and which one's the feminine, but you know, really nice energy. Or if there's two masculines, two feminines, if you're non binary, I don't, none of that matters to me. Let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Oh, hold on one second, guys. Hold on. Okay, so sorry about all the noise. All right, one or two more shovels here for Aries. Anyone with Aries placements, what do we need to know? What are the messages? This is could be for anyone who's guided to see the Aries reading as well. One more shovel, Aries reading. All right, let's find out, guys. All right, so you could be the Aries masculine up there dealing with this Queen of Pentacles, or you can be the Aries feminine here dealing with that masculine, or you could both be the same sex or whatever, right? Or non-binary, doesn't matter to me. All right, so let's get into the... Um, so we clearly see someone's coming in, cup in hand, wanting to... I'm going to put them together because I'm going to do them together. The Knight of Cups and the Hierophant. What do we need to know here? Knight of Cups, Hierophant. somebody who's been holding back okay so this could be also could be a this could be the Capricorn Taurus or Virgo or um this like I said this could be the Capricorn Taurus Virgo. it could be anybody really but it's somebody who's held back they could also be Cancer Pisces Scorpio Taurus comes through very strongly all right so this Aries is you either have been holding back from going towards this person or this person has been holding back from coming towards you all right, let's talk about the queen of coins. Or it just wasn't, listen, the universe could have been holding back from bringing you two together. All right, let's look at uh, queen. Why? Because probably you or they or both of you had to pass all this, all these tests of, you know, no, 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 and no. Uh, I'd rather be single. <coughs> Tell me about the queen of coins. What about the queen of coins? Oh my God. Some of you, you have a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, and I don't care what gender they are, coming through to speak some kind of truth to you. Some of you are the Queen of Pentacles and that somebody's coming through to speak to you, this loving man. All right, so you might not see this coming. You might not know about it. You might not have any clue. Like I said, the universe is about to hand you a, the golden cup while you're sleeping 
and thinking you're just going to stay single for the rest of your life. All right, let's look at the Five of Cups here. What do we need to know? Five of Cups, Four of Cups, they're both here right at the beginning of the reading. And I just felt like that's the energy we're coming into it with. Yeah, I mean, this is Tower Reverse. This is like somebody who's, you know, been disappointed before. I've been disappointed about stuff from the past. It's just reiterating the fact that the reason you're staying single and been disappointed with the past has to do with the disappointments of the past. Tell me about the Six of Wands reversed. The Six of Wands reversed feels like I haven't budged. Tell me about the Six of Wands reversed. What do we need to know about it? Whoa, there it goes. Okay, if somebody was trying to take advantage of you, it didn't work. Uh, Five of Swords. And I will say when this deck split, the whole deck split, all this came flying out and split open. And it was the Two of Cups. This could have been somebody that you were in a partnership with that tried to take advantage of you, but they did, they couldn't. Or if they did, they, they lose. No matter what happened here, they lose. So, or you could have felt unsuccessful in the past with someone who you deemed a partner, but you know, they took advantage of you. They left you feeling sad, lost and lonely. They, you know, there could be something you're grieving from, from the past. I feel like this is just reiterating that, you know, there's been these, this, this sadness that you come into this with comes from something that actually happened in the past. Um, anything that's held you back, um, I feel like you almost like you've passed every test though. So like I said, these all feel like tests of, um, tests, you know, and don't get me wrong. Maybe there was someone who really did take advantage of you in the past and it's kept you from wanting to let anyone else in. Okay. And, th and that happens, you know, I'm going to get a quick peek at it. Can we look at the six of wands reversed with the five of swords one more time? Six of wands reversed. Now it has the five of swords with it. What is it? Is there anything important that we need to know about it? Anything at all? Six of Wands reversed, Five of Swords. What do we need to know about it? Anything at all? Yep, exactly what I knew was going to come out. I knew this was coming out. I absolutely knew it. It's the past. It really has to do with the past and the fact that you have been, you know, you've had this happen to you. You were taken advantage of. You were mistreated. You were, you know, harmed in some way. And it caused you to be like so awoke. Like, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm going to stay single in my high vibration. And you've turned every single thing in person away. This is a positive thing. Very positive. Because you are not letting in any troll. Not coming in this door. No thank you. So anyway, in the midst of all this high vibration, knowing what you want in this on this honoring path, it's about to show up. The ship is going to show up because you're in the vibration for the ship to come up because all this stuff that happened in the past is leaving you. This is all stuff that you've done the work. You've, you've taken the time out. You've said no to anything and everything that, you know, a lot of people will keep saying, okay, yeah, I want the con artist to come into my life. Oh, the insincere guy. Yeah. Him too. Oh, the insincere girl who takes my money. Yeah. Her too. People that just want to say, oh yeah, bring them on, you know, but no, this person said no, 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 no. And every hand that cr tried to grab at them, they said no. And that's why the golden cup is showing up at somebody's door here. Tell me about this two of coins. Oh, wow. Look at that. The judgment came out. It was almost in the upright, but it was more of like a challenge on its side with the two of cups. Yeah, this is spirit. You know, this is spirit going, ah, oh, here comes your person. This connection is going to be otherworldly, completely brought in by the divine, by an Archangel Gabriel here that says, this is the golden grail. This is the cup. 
that we're bringing in to you. And congratulations on the graduation from whatever you went through in the past to being in such a high vibration, self-love mode, and you and this person are gonna sail into probably the best cycle you've seen, if not ever, in a really long time. Wow, coming at you, be prepared. This reading feels like, you know, time to do what you gotta do to prepare. Uh, for this if this is something that you and you might not like you might be thinking oh hell no listen when it shows up you know how it goes I don't know about you guys but when the real deal shows up in my life I am not expecting it right I am just doing my own thing in my high vibration living my very best life that I can possibly live doing my own thing on my own self-love journey right uh, my focus is my child and, you know, I'm doing my thing. Uh, I'm not even interested. I'm in my high vibration, but that's when it's going to land in my lap. And I'm well aware of that. I'm well aware that when you get into Nine of Pentacles energy and high honor energy, somebody like this lands in your lap. Whether you realize it or not, you're calling it in boom in a really high vibration but it is always your choice whether you want to get on that ship or not it's being brought to you courtesy of the divine it's the first thing i felt about this cup coming in that it was being sent to you this is your person could be your twin flame look how they look just like each other and they mirror each other beautiful beautiful energy guys tell 